Hello YouTube, this is King Sidorak, and today I'm here to tell you, well actually show you, how to use LEGO Digital Designer. Yes. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Alright, first you will need the uh, LEGO Universe Pack, which if you don't have already, you can look for the tutorial in the description, it's the link one of the links if I have more than one link for some reason um yeah just follow the tutorial in there and follow the links and do what the hell it says don't ask me every step because there's a freaking tutorial there alright so just go to free build um you know make something that you want I'm just gonna Start off with a basic leg. And yeah. Scroll down until you find the stuff that you want. And um yeah. Uh crap. Alright, when you're moving objects like this, you can rotate it using the arrow keys and it kind of gets frustrating after a while because they don't want to go in the way that you want but then you got once you get it, it you can click on it and it'll pop into place and right here the third option at the top is a hinge tool whenever you click on something say the leg you can rotate that if it wants to freaking move Great. All right, let's just say this. Let's rotate this. You can move it like this by grabbing the handles on the top, the bottom, and the sides. Whichever one you grab is most likely most likely going to affect the, the model. So yeah. Unless if it's a stupid leg, which doesn't seem to move. But yeah. Um, that's it for that. Uh, to center your camera onto an object, you just right click on it. Whichever one. Um, Let's say you have a tall object and you want to be able to look at it right. You mainly want to go for the middle part of the model because that's the best view of it. The top part isn't very good and the bottom is just kind of worse. That's why the middle is the best. And yeah selections. Um, you can just drag and select. It's kind of stupid though because you always get more than what you want. Unless if you have a low number of models. If you have a high number of models you can um, click on it once. Well click on one model that you want then click on another one holding control and it'll select more than one. You can then click on it again to deselect it. Yeah. There's also a tool up here which has multiple selections. Yeah. Then um connected selections. Color selections. Shape connection selections color and shape yeah. a lot of stuff going on there well alright enough of that select your model then to clone it you go up here to this or press C and you just place it wherever the f you want we've done covered hinges um, hinge align tool 
that's just like the little circle things in here and the little pins and whatnot. Um, yeah. Let's see, flex tool. This is to move the hose around to get it into that little hole that you want. Giggity. What? Oh, yeah, just slide it in. <laughs> wow. But, yeah, that's the gist of it. That's, that's actually the second time I've used that tool. So, yeah. Paint bucket tool. It's just what it says it does what it says you click on stuff and you get um, different colors well no. that is that is silver not white this is white you can click on this little thing right next to this paint bucket tool and um, you know hold your mouse over the uh, little palettes they pull up a lot of colors. It's like blue. Then you have translucent blue. You have different shades of that. So that's pretty cool. And hide tool does what it says. It hides your shit. And then you click the little bastard up here. Delete. That's what it says you should get that um, check whether the model can be purchased except I didn't do anything uh, so yeah I guess that's it have fun with us and go build something you bastard <laughs>